Hello everyone, this is going to be a video for Liam Gallagher's um, When I'm In Need. Um, I covered this video recently, a uh, song recently. Um, certainly one of his best songs on his latest album, As You Were. Um, so I thought I'd try to play it, because some people are a bit confused to uh, what the first chord is. So, the first thing we need to know is, is we've got a capo on the 4th fret. Um, so the first chord is going to be an F sharp 9. Um, I think it's called that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But um, our first finger, sorry, our index finger is going to go on the first fret of the B string. Our ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the D string. And our pinky finger is going to go on the high E string of the third fret as well. So play everything down from the D string, uh, mute the A string and the, and the low E. And the chord should sound a bit like that. could get away with playing just an F uh, major 7, um, in fact it does sound quite similar and quite more broader uh, as a first chord, so that's an option if you want to play that. So we're going to take our first chord, so, so from there we're going to go to a, a normal C major 7 chord, uh, nice and simple then. So that's index finger on uh, the B string of the first fret, um, middle finger on the D string of the second fret, and you could play uh, your, your ring finger on the low E string of the third fret, and your pink and your pinky just below that on the A string. Or you could play the, the three finger version, which is just index first fret on the B string, uh, middle finger on the D string of the second fret and ring finger on the A string of the 3rd fret, if that's easier for you. Not much difference, just the added G note there on the low E of the 3rd fret. So the intro with these first two chords, it like, sounds like this. Shit, wrong chord shape. <laughs> so our next chord is going to be an E7 chord. And all it's going to be is take a normal E major chord and simply take off our ring finger, which gives us this more open shape. Um, you could get away with just playing an E major. Um, if I'm honest with you, um, you probably want to play the, the E7 because it sounds more full and it sounds more like the record. So after we've done the E7, we're going to go to an A minor chord. An A minor chord is very simple. Um, so we're going to start off with our middle finger on the second fret, the D string, our um, ring finger on the G string of the second fret also, and our index finger on the B string of the first fret. So it sounds a bit like this. Second time round, we're not going to go to the A minor. So what I mean by that is I'll play it through again and show you what I mean. So I'm going to stop there, and then we'll go round again as normal, ending on the A minor. So every two times round, your um, finish on the E7 rather than going to the A minor. Quite easy to pick up, um, especially if you listen to the record itself. Um, so that is the intro uh, chords. The uh, chorus is going to be very simple yet again. Uh, you, you could get away with an A minor, um, but you could play an A7, but for the point of this video we're just going to use the A minor again. So we're going to go A minor, so this, this is the bit where it goes, oh. When I'm in need, that bit. So, A minor, so. To a G chord. So, G is simply um, middle finger on the G, sorry, on the G note on the low E string on the third fret. And our ring finger is going to go on the B string of, of the third fret. And our pinky finger is going to go just below that on the high E string of the third fret. You can also play the A string 
on the second fret or the index finger as well to give us a bit more of a twang but not really needed at all really. So A minor to a G and from a G straight down to a D chord. So D is going to be index finger on the G string of the second fret, middle finger on the high E string of the second fret, and our ring finger is going to go straight on the third fret of the B string. So the chorus goes a bit like this. After the three times round, I'm going to go to an F major 7 chord. She's I assume you know how to play an F major 7, but just to check anyway, we're going to cover that now. So, index finger on the B string of the first fret. Uh, our middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the G string. Our ring finger is going to go on the A string of the third fret. And our pinky finger is going to go just below that on the D string of the third fret. So this is where she's going, where it says she's doing the overtime. So she's doing the overtime. And from the F, we go back to our E7, where we stop. And from then on, it's the same chords as the verse. So our F to C. E7 to A minor, and then there's one little bit right at the end, which is we can call it a bridge or a refrain if you like. Um, it's simply three chords. Uh, we take our D chord again, so so it's um, I think it's um, gonna show me um, that part of the bridge. I'm not sure the lyrics on that part, um, so I've forgotten them. Um, so it's a D chord, so. So one new chord is going to be an A major chord. So A major chord is simply going to be um, D string on the second fret, um, with our index finger, sorry. Middle finger on the G string on the second fret also and our ring finger on the B string on the 2nd fret also, so all on the 2nd fret. So let's put those two chords together, so... So from our A, we go to an E major chord, and that's all there is to it, so... one, two, three, four. to our F, which is, she's doing the overtime bit, which is, so I'll play through um, everything for you now, just to show you how things pan out into context. So play along if you'd like to, or you can pause the video and go back and, and re-watch what I've showed you already, um, but yeah, this is just, you know, <coughs> to show you how to play really. So here we go.
much everything you need to know for this lesson, all the way through the, through the chorus. Um, it's very much the same up until the bridge where you've already learned uh, that part now, because I just showed you. But a similar part that you need to know, which is the D, A, C major bit, which is pretty much the whole bridge. Um, so that's lesson today. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and hope you've you know learned something from it. Um, if you like my videos, um, I would say to you know to subscribe and like the video and, and post a comment if you if you'd like to. Um, yeah, and then just keep playing the guitar and you know, keep learning songs. You know. So thanks for watching. Cheers.